Come on, let's do it. All right, this is uh, Nick Krasny and... And I'm Ho Tuan. We're here with uh, Respectably French and it's our great pleasure to uh, have a quick chat with Tron Guy. Greetings, programs. Greetings. What has been your experience at RaffleCon so far? So far I've spent uh, all my time talking to a bunch of very interesting people uh, about all kinds of different things. How long have you been here so far? Uh, I got here with the uh, with the parade over from the Marriott at 10, so what is it now, 11.40, something like that? Uh, it's actually about 12, let me or, see, 12.19, 12, so oh. it seems like the show's going to be starting okay. in about, uh, about 11 minutes. Okay, so. good. So. Yeah, uh, no watch, obviously. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even, with, even with all the, the, the techie... Even, uh, even with all the techie stuff, uh, I don't have any pockets in any place to stick things, so uh, my, my iPhone is elsewhere. Now, may, may I ask where the power supply is for this suit of yours? There's ah, right battery there. Each, each armor piece has its own little battery pack. And so that w the reason I did it that way is so I wouldn't have to worry about hooking them together as I put it on. Now, how, how accurate do you think your suit is to the, uh, to the movie? Uh, it's, it's plausible. There are some things that the, the movie, I've seen the movie costumes, yeah, yeah. and they're much more detailed. Um, but the biggest difference, aside from that, is that uh, the, the all of the movie costumes had boots instead of uh, the shoes that I'm wearing. I see. And the characters typically had a belt on, and I do not. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Um, but it's 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 not outside the the limits of plausibility. I I could I could conceivably fit in with this. Now I, I know you've been going on tour for a while. Um, you're I. I I'm sure plenty of people here have seen you on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Are you surprised by your fame? Very much so. I expected five, maybe 500 people to ever see this costume. Um, I, I used that line on Jimmy Kimmel Live one evening, and Jimmy's reply was, and now 600 people have. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I never expected this. Um, I mean, you know, hey, I'm, I'm just an average computer geek. There's, uh, I don't think of myself as being all that kind of special person or anything like that. I'm just, you know, I'm just out here having fun. Has it been a pleasant surprise or a uniformly pleasant surprise? Like, Not hey, you're a guy. Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After the first week, it has been. The first week was pretty rough, reading all the negative comments on the net. After that, yeah, the, usually along the lines of ah, fat guy in spandex, don't look. Um, but any. Or, you know, after that initial wave, it's uh, all the comments I've gotten in person have been positive, and it's it's been a lot of fun, and, and I've and I've met people and gone places and done things I wouldn't have been able to any other way. I see. Have you now? Have you had a chance to uh, meet Jeff Bridges? I have not. Your tour? I have not met Jeff Bridges. I have met Bruce Boxleiter in the costume. Oh wow! And uh, we were at an autograph show. I was there with Cindy Morgan, the lady who played Yori yeah. and Tron. Cindy and I have become good friends. Um, but we were there, and, and Bruce walks in. I'm standing. I'm standing there in the costume. Bruce, Bruce looks over at me, and the first words out of his mouth were, "You're not Tron." <laughs> And later on, you know, I, I don't remember what I said or what the subject was, but I mentioned, you know, hey, I know I'm not shaped like Bruce Boxleitner. Yeah. His comment was, I'm not shaped like Bruce Boxleitner anymore either. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, maybe perhaps what might be interesting is if uh, we ask some of the, the viewers to uh, send in some questions. Okay. So uh, let's see what we have here. Um, so if, any, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, send them in over the chat. And Alex, our... Uh, our wonderful tech man will uh, see, see if he can forward them to... Computer flunky. Yeah, computer flunky, yeah. exactly. So, now, Ron Guy answers your be, questions. Be forewarned, you, you, you're going to get answers, and if you don't like them, that's your problem. <laughs> uh, the, the glow is produced by electroluminescent wire. Um, the, uh, under here, this ba there's two double A's in this battery pack here, that, and there's an inverter underneath that powers the wire. So this is all... Uh, this is all low voltage. It's cool to the touch. Pretty easy to deal with. Where could uh, aspiring Tron guys get such equipment? Uh, I got this. Uh, I, I got it online. D uh, do a search for electroluminescent wire. It took me about, once I had all the pieces, it took me about a week of full time effort to make the costume. Uh, most of that was in, in painting the unitard, which is something I had no experience with, so I had to, I had to learn as I went. 
uh, and in painting the other pieces as well. Alex, what else we got? Do you have a light cycle? <laughs> Do I have a white cycle? No, I don't. I'm not. Uh, I'm not much of a, of a motorcycle kind of guy. Um, the uh, as it happens, I believe that with, the, with today's technology, it would be possible to make the a, a cycle shaped like a light cycle with the enclosure and all that stuff. Uh, the the solid jet walls are a little harder. That's it for now. Oh, watch the tripod. I actually have, I have a question. So, all right. so, so how is work going with all this fame? Because um, I know you were a computer programmer yeah. prior to that. Has yeah. uh, has it has has it changed anything? Have you has has your manager been you know, like wondering? <laughs> well, I uh, I'm a computer consultant, and my job involves going to different customers and installing software and yeah. and helping them configure and learn to use it. Yeah. So I don't work in one office all the time. I'm always at different places. Uh, and what usually happens is that those that there, it's not uncommon for a customer to kind of recognize me, but yeah, it's usually yeah. along the lines of, "Don't I know you from somewhere?" <laughs> and when I tell them what it, you you probably know me as the Tron guy. They, oh yeah, that's you. Oh, and this is, it is without the suit, of course. Right. right. Yeah. No, but I. They, uh, they definitely recognize the face. Uh, right. Once I once I tell them who I, who they am, they make the connection. I see. I see. Who they am? Did I say that? Yeah. Brain well, fade. Anyway, it was, it was a pleasure, you know, uh, um, a pleasure talking with you. You know, um, we're, we're going to be conducting formal interviews later. This was okay. sort of uh, uh, off, the cuff. off the cuff trying to, to find something interesting for our viewers to watch okay. and stuff. Um, it looks like uh, we got to get ready here for um, starting up the show. So um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll try to put a cut. But anyway, thank you. Enjoy the show. And uh, say hello to everyone watching. Yep. There you have it. Uh, everybody enjoy the show. I think it's going to be fun. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. <laughs>